there are four major heart valves in our heart. The valves in our heart act as one-way doors that open to allow blood to flow forward and close to prevent blood from flowing backwards. This makes sure the blood flows in the correct direction through the four chambers of the heart. When one or more of these valves do not open or close properly, it can disrupt the blood flow in our body. The valves can fail in two ways. Firstly, the valves may not close well, also known as leaky valves. This causes blood to flow backwards into the chamber it came from. Secondly, the valves may not open well, also known as tight valves. This results in difficulty of the blood flowing out of the heart to the rest of the body. There are many causes of leaky or tight valves. Some people may be born with an abnormal valve. Sometimes, a healthy valve can get worn down. The valves degenerate due to factors such as aging, injury, and infection. In certain instances, it can be due to previous heart damage, such as a heart attack. Mild cases of heart valve problems may go unnoticed, with some people living with the condition for many years without developing symptoms. With time, the condition may worsen and symptoms start to show. In the case of leaky left-sided valves, blood goes backwards towards the lungs instead of forward out of the heart. In the case of tight left-sided valves, blood has difficulty flowing out of the heart and is back down in the lungs. In both instances, patients can feel short of breath as the lungs get flooded with blood. At the same time, because there is not enough blood going forward to supply the body, patients may also feel weak, fatigued, and may not be able to exercise as much as they would like to. In the long term, these problems can result in heart failure. Patients can experience difficulties in breathing, walking, and sleeping. They may also have leg swelling. With time, as the heart gets more swollen, it becomes harder to treat. Diagnosis of a heart valve problem usually involves a physical examination by your doctor. Your doctor will check your heart with a stethoscope for unusual sounds of a heart murmur before recommending the needed additional tests. These tests usually include an echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound scan of your heart. Depending on the location and severity, treatment can vary. In mild cases, management may involve routine observation and follow-up. As the condition progresses, medications may be required to help get rid of excess water. In situations where the condition becomes severe and the heart can no longer cope even with medication, then surgery or some of the minimally invasive therapies such as mitraclip procedures or transcatheter aortic valve implantation, TAVI, may help. Surgical options include valve repair or valve replacement with a metal heart valve or a heart valve made from animal tissue. Your doctor will discuss with you the best treatment options for your condition.